Hi guys, Mr. Rice here, and we're going to finish our basic navigation two missions. Um, specifically, we're going to do missions six through 10. So let's have a look, shall we? So here's our Cyber Robotics 101 missions. We're finishing up basic navigation two. We've already done missions one through five, so let's start on mission six. Curve back left. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Curve back left. I'll restart the mission so I can get the, the prompts, you know? When curving backward, things change a bit. Try different steering values, positive or negative, to find your way. Don't forget to correct the direction for the drive block. Okay. Our tips are tax free. So you can always click that little light bulb if you need help. So notice the robot needs to go backwards into the parking spot there to the left. Now the real question is, are we turning right or are we turning left? So we might have to guess and try the other way, but I know the direction needs to change to backwards. Notice my robot here is facing the other direction. So my steering is going to be, it looks like it needs to steer back into the right. Or maybe it's to the left. It depends on which way the robot's facing. But let's see what happens if we only change the direction block, not the steering block. Oh, I need to actually change the steering to a number that makes sense. Let's try negative. Let's try positive 10 to start. I was just spinning in place. That's obviously not gonna solve it. Okay, so steering back with 10 went the wrong direction. So let's try negative 10 and see if that works. Look at that. Now that was a little hard to see because it glitched out, but backwards with a steering of negative 10 curved us directly into the spot. If we try again, we should be able to see it. So notice my robot needs to go backwards and it's actually to the left because it's based on the direction the robot's facing to beat the left. So let's press play. See if the robot moves perfectly, just like that. Okay, let's do the next activity. Number seven, curve back right. It's probably the same code, but a positive 10 instead of a negative 10. That's my guess. So when curving backwards and to the right, think positive, hint, hint. Positive turns are to the right. So we're gonna grab a motor block because I know I need to go backwards and to the right this time. So make sure your set steering option is there. Go into your data to grab a number. And this time, instead of negative 10 for my steering, I'm going to try positive 10. Let's see if that works. Oops, you see what I forgot to change? The direction. Silly mistake. This should do it. Now I'm going backwards and to the right, easy peasy. Let's show one more time because it was a little hard to see there. So my robot should go backwards. I'm just gonna move my camera around with my right clicker on my mouse. So it should go backwards and to the right. There we go. Steering at 10 is perfect. Nice job. Let's try the next one. Points and turns. Use curves and other turns to go around a big tree. Oh, let's see here. Okay, so it looks like the code is given for us. We just need to put it in the correct location in the correct order. Steer any way you like to get around the trees. Curving can be useful for getting around large obstacles. The closer to zero the steering the value, the wider the turn. So in other words, the smaller the value of the number, the wider the circle gets which is a little backwards way to think about it, but the steering value is how sharply your robot turns. So if it's steering less sharp, it makes a bigger turn. So that will help us. To complete this mission, you'll need to go around the tree by curving around. These blocks are all ready to go. Just put them in the right order. Okay. 
So you don't need to change any code, you just need to put it in the correct location. So it looks like, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. It looks like my robot needs to go to the right a little bit, and then to the left a little bit, and then forward. I know it's a little hard to see. Maybe I can go around the tree like this. Not super easy, there we go. So it looks like it goes to the right around the tree, and then to the left, and then straight forward. So which of these blocks here goes to the right first? Looks like this one with a steering value of a positive number. In this case, it's a value of eight. So it does that for two seconds. And then we need to turn to the left, curve to the left, which would be this one, steering value negative 20. And then we can finish by going straight forward. No steering. So let's see if this works. Goes to the right a little bit, then it goes to the left a little bit, and then it goes straight forward. Easy peasy. Just click and drag the blocks in the correct order. Right turn, left turn, straight. Last one we'll do is called perpendicular parking. Find a parking spot. Uh, finding a parking spot is the easy part. Can you back it up and park it like a glove? I've never heard that expression before. Park it, park like a glove. Anyway, so let's restart the mission, see if we have any prompts here. Looking for a parking spot. If you're having trouble, take a hint. Okay, so no prompts, you just gotta figure it out. So we need to have the robot, go overhead here. We need the robot to go forward and to the right a little bit. And then we need it to go straight backwards. So we're just gonna follow that white line. So what steering value should I try? I know it's to the right, so it needs to be a positive number. I'm gonna try positive 10. Uh, and we'll just do a power of 100. You can change these numbers to a lot of different options, though. We'll just get one that works. And I don't know for how many seconds I need this to be, so I'm going to guess for two seconds, which is 2,000 milliseconds. Now my robot needs to go straight backwards. This block is already backwards, so I'll just make my power 100. Let's see if this works. It's a guess and check, you know? Okay, so it looks like my steering was good, but my milliseconds was not long enough. So let's try 2,500 milliseconds. Go a little bit longer, but the steering, the circle, the curve was good. There we go, look at that. So perfect values right there. Steering at 10, power of 100 on the top. A wait for is 2,500 milliseconds, and then it goes straight backwards with the power of 100 also. Okay, this is the last one we'll do. It's called Basic Navigation Mastery. Curve your way into the parking spot one more time. Okay. So this one is actually in a parking spot. You are on your own. Feeling lonely? Check the tips. Park it. Okay, so going overhead here. Looks like there's a white line we need to follow to get us in between these two cars here. Kind of a nice little city landscape, isn't it? So I know it's gonna be a slight left turn and then a slight right turn. So let's do the slight left turn first. Uh, I'm going to click on my little blue button here to set steering and I'm going to select set duration too because I want to go for a certain amount of time. All right, so I know it's a left steering, right? So this needs to be a negative number on the steering, but I don't know what and I don't know for how long. So I'm going to say a steering of negative it looks like it's a really slight curve. So I'm gonna say a really small number. So I'm gonna say negative five. And for how long? We'll say two seconds. That's a guess. After it does that, we need to do a slight turn to the right. So we'll add another motor block. We'll do set steering, set duration. We don't need to set duration on this one because it's the last one we'll do. So I'm just gonna have set steering Put a number in there. Let's do a steering. I know it's a right turn, so it needs to be a positive number. I'm gonna guess 10. Let's see if this works. 
So my robot steers to the left and then it steers to the right. But, so I got in the, I got in the target and it says I completed the mission, which is good. But notice I could do a little better. My uh, line didn't exactly follow the white line. So let's try it again. I think I need to make my left steer a little bit sharper. I'm gonna increase that to a negative 10. Let's see if this works. Oh, that works a lot better. Look at that. Okay, now my right turn is too short. Though I did successfully complete the mission. Let's get this a little better. I'm gonna try the right steer as 20. I'm gonna go quite a bit bigger. Let's see if this is better. That is better, but I could go even higher to be honest because that line is not perfect. I'm gonna just do one more and we'll call it good even if it's not perfect. Because uh, like I said, this does successfully complete mission path. Oh yeah, that's much better. In fact, it's almost too much, but that's okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to skip for now missions 11 and 12, which is introducing smart blocks to you. And we'll do a whole nother video specifically on smart blocks later. Um, but go ahead and try the rest of the missions of Basic Navigation 2. Good luck, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.